Hey guys, this is Seventy to One Eight, and uh, today I've got a Blu-ray and a DVD update. Plus, I'm going to show you an art book, uh, a hard paperback kind of hard book, uh, art book I got from Amazon. Uh, got recommended. I seen it in a video from uh, Spawn Seven Seven. Uh, go and check him out, guys. Great YouTuber. Does Blu-ray updates, DVD updates, and that sort of stuff. And he does some Star Wars figures and that. Um, <clears throat> So yeah, I bought it. Uh, it's quite limited. Uh, every week there's, they're always running out, so you always have to get stock in. So I finally got it. Plus, I got some steel books and DVDs and that as well. So I'll show you the steel books first, and then I'll move on to the book last. The first steel book I got is the thing. It just got released this week from Play. dot com. Um, this is you can get these quite not easily, but you can get them at the moment on Play. dot com. There's another few of them that I've got that are quite rare to get now. See the special features there. I think it's the same one that was already in the blue already. So, yeah, it looks like a nice steel, but I like the artwork. Some people are dissing it, but I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, and it's nice and, like, it's not embossed, but it's embossed in the way, so, if that makes sense. <laughs> Great film, love this horror film, it's one of my favourites. So, that's the thing. The next two are steel books as well. You can probably guess what they are, maybe. They're Iron Man and Iron Man 2. <clears throat> So yeah, I pre-ordered these when I once I heard they were coming out. I tried to pre-order an R2 just for a competition, but they were sold out because it was that popular. And these will become very rare. Uh, and because uh, I, I didn't get it from the US, I, I, of course these are just the UK ones. And them stickers do come off, guys. I also not open up, but you can tell them they're wee stickers. So that's pretty cool. They just don't have to stay on it. Nice looking steel books. If you want to see the artwork, go online and uh, play dot com and see it. They'll probably be selling these on ebay and people on amazon maybe selling it as well so so yeah that's iron man 1 and iron man 2 i won't probably open these because i've got the both of them in blue day so just keep them sealed and hopefully they'll be a good collector's item one day so that's all the steel boots guys move on to my blue days uh kind of a horror kind of a lot of horror ones here to show you first one's candy man haven't seen this film uh got recommended uh, by a horror in a horror book so uh i wanted to see it uh, it looks pretty decent, uh, and a lot of people on YouTube say it's good, so yeah, that's uh, Candyman. Next one, a film I haven't seen as well, Feast. Um, again, it recommended on YouTube, so I've never seen it, I don't know what it's about. Just bought it, it was quite cheap, so hopefully it's pretty decent. So yeah, that's Feast. Next one is Cape Fear, starring Robert De Niro. Did a great job in this. I love this film. It came out in Blu-ray about a couple months ago, so I had to buy it. It's got some special features as well. I don't know if there's the new ones or not compared to the DVD version of it. So, yep, yep, that's Kate Fear. Next one's Boogeyman. I haven't seen this film either. A lot of horror films I'm buying this month because uh, I'm just trying to get my ho my horror collection built up with a lot more films. Um, looks pretty decent. So, I'll give it a watch and see how it is. Again, if you've seen these films I haven't seen, guys, give us a comment and tell me what you thought of them. Next one, kind of moving on to some more stuff. Pearl Harbor. I got this, I had this when I first got Blu-rays, but I don't know what I do. I think I sold it or gave it to somebody. Um, but I wanted to get it because I like the, the story of this film. Uh, I like the, the war and all that, war films, and the Pearl Harbor scenes and that were pretty good. I know it's kind of a love story, but... I, I'm not really into that sort of stuff, but I, I bought it just because it's a great film. So that's uh, Pearl Harbor. Next one uh, is a digi book, the 100th anniversary Clyde Edition Universal, All Quiet in the Western Front. You can see their limited edition uh, digi book pack. Looks really good. Uh, this is a great film. I've, I've not actually seen the whole of this film, I've seen some of it. Uh, bonus features you got an introduction by the film historian Robert Osborne and a theatrical trailer. Plus some Blu-ray live stuff and pocket Blu-ray stuff. Looks really good. Nice digi book. Got for about £12 on Amazon. One to their two Academy Awards including Best Picture. Down there is a wee sticker saying 36 page book. With images of material, theatrical, posters, delete scenes and much more. So I look forward to seeing this and look right inside. I might do an unboxing video to show you what's more inside of it. So yeah, it's all quiet on the western front. Next one's got here just like uh, DVDs. So, first one I've got here is Stephen King's Pet Symmetry. Um, I've seen this before. It's a great, it's quite a good film. Got quite cheap. Want to see it again? 
So I like it. I like Stephen King's sort of books and films, so I had to buy it. So, yep, that's uh, Pet Cemetery. Now, the next three I'm going to show all of them together. They're kind of like a well, these are the, the trilogy of films here, but these are the original ones I think are the best. Um, I don't like the other ones they made. And uh, that's uh, Child's Play uh, 1, 2, and 3. Never seen 3 before. I'm be interested in see that. Number 2 I've seen, I think, is a good film. First one, I've never seen that artwork before on the in the first Child's Play film. Never seen that. Uh, it looks weird, but it does look kind of cool too. So, um, can't wait to see this. It should be good. And um, and there, I don't understand why that's a fifteen. That's a fifteen, and this is an eighteen for some reason. It doesn't really say at the back, but oh well. But it looks. I wait. I've not, as I say, I've never seen three, so I'll give that a watch. Number two. Uh, I've seen sometimes. First one's a classic, so I'll watch that again when I get time. And the last thing I'm going to show you guys is the book. Uh, as I said, it's from a film, a film I've seen this year, and I think it's one of my favourite films. And that is Prometheus, the art of the film. It looks really good. The side of it looks really good as well. It's kind of like that nice shiny feel into it. And the back of it. Nice artwork there, like... I'll go, I'll go through some of it just a wee bit. Um, I won't go at the end because it gives away kind of the end of the film. So, uh, yeah, it looks really cool. I'll flick through some of the pages. Nice artwork. I see that head was actually made by hand. So it wasn't CGI. It was really cool. That's what I like about Ridley Scott. He tries to use less CG like some other people like um, Christopher Nolan and that. So... Some nice artwork from the film, some vehicles, the characters. Um, it's a really nice art, but you can pick up for about twelve, thirteen pound on Amazon. It's quite hard to get because they're always out of stock, and it takes a couple of days to come. So, but I highly recommend this book. It's a great book, and uh, still have to uh, read and look at all the, the artwork for, off it. So, and it's a great film. I can't wait to get a steel book of that film. So, guys, that's my update for you guys uh, for today. Um, there's a lot of stuff here. I know. Um, and uh, I'll try to get some more stuff in the next couple of uh, weeks as well. And um, and it's been a, it's a really, uh, really nice stuff here and good stuff for the collection. As I say, I need another display cabinet to the because I'm running out of space at the moment and it looks really untidy and messy. So, so guys, yeah, thanks for watching this. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Please give us some comments on what you thought of some of these films I haven't seen before. And uh, I hope everyone has a nice weekend, and thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you later.